Turin 56 from Iconic here, bringing you our most recent war recap video from uh, War 97, uh, which was another win versus the Beastmasters. Uh, 68 to 53 win. That puts our record at 80, 14, and 3. Uh, so as you can see from this page there, 180 out of 180 total possible experience points for our clan. We continue to march on and uh, build up our clan XP. Um, first thing I really want to show you <laughs> is this. Uh, wars 1, 140. Uh, that is a lot of wars, but we've seen this before we've gone up against clans that have almost twice as many wins as we do um, and it doesn't always mean that they're a good war clan uh, all it takes to win a lot of wars really is to just war all the time that's three and a half wars a week um, and what, what's that 14 or 15 wars a month and if you can just use all your attacks and get two stars on everything uh, then you're gonna win a fair amount of wars um, and that's pretty much what what these guys did um, as you can see uh, 12 three stars not awful but not good um, and a lot of those were town hall nines attacking down to our town hall eights um, so we had 19 three stars uh, nice love to see it uh, average destruction for us was well over 90 percent uh, which is always pretty cool to see um, and yeah, we just, I think we had better overall strategy than they did. They were attacking down early um, and just better attacks. So don't be dismayed when you get matched up against a clan with a ton of wins because it doesn't always mean anything. Uh, here's what our individual members did. We had two heavy hitters this war. Uh, Tobin36 and Bubble Boy both got six stars for us. So awesome job, you two. Um, and then uh, continuing on the uh, the bitch slappers, we had four today: uh, lights, Kriegel, Bowflexing, and Unwo for life. So awesome job, you guys, getting five stars. And Kriegel missed the six star by one percent. He had a three star and a ninety-nine percent two star. So real close, bud. Um, I guess I'll just quickly go through what they did to our bases lot of gaps up top um, did okay down towards the bottom um, but you know lots of one stars up high um, oops that's not what I meant to do I meant to do this um, this is what we did on them just a few gaps on the town hall nines and that's about it um, okay so uh, got three good attacks to show you uh, I'm going to start off with Bo Flexing, who took on this Town Hall 8 uh, and brought a Go Wee Wee Ho. Um, a very effective attack that a lot of our Town Hall 8s like to use. Um, so it's basically just a, uh, a Go Wee Wee um, at Town Hall 8 with hogs on the back end uh, coming in, you know, partway through the attack to reinforce uh, the Go Wee Wee troops or to just, you know, take a flank. Uh, so the Goiwi DPS doesn't get taken out. So, real easy lure here. Uh, just one giant was all it took. I like how Bowflexing uh, did the little barb dance here, get the troops clumped up a little bit more, make them vulnerable to the splash damage from his uh, wizards, which he brings in right here. And as you can see, just a couple shots, and they all go down while they're distracted, taking out those skellies from the witch. So, nice clan castle kill there. Good start. Uh, he's got good deployment for his golems here. They're nice and spread out. Um, they're not going to get distracted by each other's defenses when those walls start to break and, and veer away. Uh, the wall breakers offset from the golems. Very nice. That'll help them avoid the splash damage from the mortars and the wizard tower. Uh, so he does good wall breaker work here. Gets in the base nice and quick. Um, and there is the giant bomb pop. 
that's usually what you want to do with the go wee wee portion of your army when you're bringing this composition. There's all three giant bombs actually. Um, use the go wee wee to penetrate into the base, eliminate the double giant bomb threats, and then you support with hogs from another side. Um, hugs coming from the extreme back end over there. Um, I may have brought them uh, a little bit closer to the golems, brought them in maybe on that archer tower that they're on right there on the southwest, excuse me, the southeast, um, just to give a little more protection for the DPS that was still up and running because he's running low on DPS at this point other than the hogs. Um, but it still was a very effective attack and he had more than enough DPS left at the end. Um, so just do a little fast forward at this point because it's all clean up. Um, but the, uh, the Go Wee Wee Ho is a, a really nice Town Hall 8 technique, uh, and if you can get the basic principles of that attack down at Town Hall 8, it's going to serve you very well at Town Hall 9 as well, because that strategy will continue to be effective. Alright, uh, the next attack, which I really liked, uh, was Tobin36 taking on their number 11, Crash. Um, he brings a Go Lava Loon on this one, and this was just a very well thought out attack. Taking advantage of the weak design on this base um, with those air defenses. Uh, so grabs a uh, quick easy lure here with the two loons, and uh, he also gets a defense with it as well. Distracts them just a little bit up top with that archer, and that buys him enough time to build a funnel down here on the south. This is where he planned on getting his clan castle killed, but he just wanted a little time to create a funnel, because look at all those garbage buildings. So I, I really like the technique there of dragging the CC up north, buying a little extra time, and by the time they're down here, look at that, that funnel is almost completely formed. Uh, his, his witches and his heroes are going to go where he wants them to now, and where he wants them to go is to take out those two air defenses and the Archer Queen. Um, and he gets he gets more than that as well. He gets a really good exchange for this kill squad portion of his army. So there the king is locked on to the defending queen. She goes down. Uh, the DPS troops are moving in. The first AD is already down. The second one's going down quickly as well. And by the time she's done, his Archer Queen is going to take out those Teslas as well. So so much of the damage, the, the buildings that can do damage to his air attack are already gone. Uh, not a spam deployment. I love the strategic deployments of loons for defenses. Uh, two or three per defense. Following up, coming in under rage behind the Lava Hounds. They're moving across now. And then here comes the east side loons. Once again, nice strategic deployment of those loons. He didn't have a ton. He couldn't afford to spam them. Um, and it's usually just better technique anyways, even if you do have a ton, to do the strategic deployment there. Uh, two or three loons per defense is all it's going to take. Um, both those hounds popped. That's going to give him a lot of pups for cleanup. And that'll help uh, since his uh, heroes are both down, but he still has some wizards working around. A ton of balloons. And this attack is over. I'll just do a little fast forward here while we're watching that. So an awesome, really well thought out attack on that base, Tobin. Nice work. I like the Go Lava Loon better than the Penta Lava Loon these days, I think. Less luck, more strategy. Alright, so uh, last attack I'll show you is this uh, hog attack by Kriegel on number 8. Uh, really liked this attack. Uh, also another well thought out attack. Um, quick little one for one trade there on that cannon. And then two loons and one hog down here on that archer tower. He gets that defense, he gets the lure, and look at that. Pops a giant bomb. That giant bomb there was the only threat to his hogs um, because there's just the one possible location for the double giants. Um, so, quick little destruction of the clan castle troops over here in the east corner. And then he's going to drop his hogs and they're going to make their way through this base rather easily. Got 
got the uh, golem in there. That's going to take out um, the archer queen. Kill squad's going to come in, follow up, give him a little support. BK is already locked onto that archer queen. Second giant bomb has popped there. Uh, and here come the hogs. All those threats are gone. Um, this first heal here, in my opinion, is just a little bit off. I think he could have pushed that a bit to the west. Um, but other than that, the heals were really nicely dropped here. Um, they will be covering all the other potential giant bomb locations. As you can see, there's one coming up right there. Um, and then there's one up a little bit further that he will also have covered. Um, but he still has... You know, his kill squad is, is, for the most part, still up and running, taking damage, moving like a wave into the middle there. Uh, you only lost one hog there on that giant bomb. That was a nice uh, pathing by his guys there. Um, and just a few defenses left, so we'll just kind of fast forward here while we watch the cleanup. Um, but I just really like the, the first stage of this attack, really set it up for success. Um, coming in, getting that lure, and popping that one bomb with his hog. Um, it looked like his kill squad was going to was gonna take care of that double threat anyways a little bit later when he went in to push for that queen, but um, who knows? You know, you never know what's going to happen. So I, I like him uh, doing what he had to do to, to remove that threat. So great attack, Kriegel. Really nicely done, sir. And that is... War recap for War 97. Uh, another win. Uh, we are looking really good. Our last couple wins have been so strong. Um, last three, actually, have all been really nice wins. Uh, starting to really crush it. We found a nice little rhythm. A lot of our newer members have really stepped it up, and uh, we're putting together some nice wars. So great job, Iconic. Keep up the good work. Uh, we already have a new war matchup against Sharpshooter, so uh, look out for a replay coming up against these guys in just a couple days. Until then, keep on clashing, guys. See you next time.